everyone, it's Miss A, and today we're going to be reading a book on the Boom Learning website. It's called Jacob's Bug Collection. So you might have already played or read this book at home during the school year. But it's always good to repeat things. I'm going to read it again and add some extra things, and then you can go ahead and practice later again, or if you haven't read it yet, you can do it again and again and follow along at home too if you want to have someone help you pull this up on another phone or another laptop or an iPad or anything you have so you can play with me live or play after. All right, so if we're looking at the picture we see. What do you think this story is going to be about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see lots of bugs. And the title of the story, again, is Jacob's Bug Collection. So who is the story going to be about? Remember, who is a person? Yeah, it's about Jacob. All right, let's read. Remember to listen. Jacob loves to find and study bugs. Today he is searching for a grasshopper. That means he's looking. Let's look. Help Jacob search the park to find one. You're going to find some other bugs along the way. Who is looking for bugs? Yeah, the boy. Does anyone remember his name? It was Jacob. Jacob is looking for bugs. Does anyone remember what bug he's looking for? You can look at the picture to help. It's in the thought bubble next to his head. Oh, one of you got it. Yeah, it's a grasshopper. This word is really long and tricky, so let's break it apart. We can try grass first. It has our back sound. Grass. Grass. Grasshopper. Nice job. Let's see if we can find it. You will collect all the bugs you find in a jar. Jacob loves all types of bugs, but today he wants to see how far a grasshopper can jump. What does he want to know about grasshoppers? He wants to know how far they can jump or how far they can fly. Mm -hmm, yeah, jump. We can use our hands by putting one hand under and two hands together like little feet. Jump. And to say it with our mouth, the j sound is tricky, but you can try it. Jump and pop our lips at the end. After that, he will help him, after we get the grasshopper, you will help him release them back into the park. If we look at the picture, what do you think we're gonna put the bugs in while we're looking and studying them? Yeah, someone said it's a glass. It is kind of like a glass, but it has a lid. This is called a jar. That's a tricky word. Can you try it? Yeah, jar. All right, where should we look? Do you think we should look next to the leaf or behind the leaf? What's so are you saying next to? I don't see anything next to it. Let's try it behind. Is this a grasshopper? Yes or no? No, that's not a grasshopper. Does anyone know what kind of bug this is? Yeah, it's a ladybug. Can you tell me what a ladybug is? Is it next to the butterfly or above the butterfly? Yeah, it's next to. I'm gonna put it on and we're gonna make a big sentence and work on our bite lip sound for found. It goes, I found a ladybug. You try it. We can touch each picture to help us. I found a ladybug. And our tongue goes up a lot in that for ladybug. If that's too tricky, you can just try some of the vowel sounds and go a e a. Uh, or you can just try bug. Go ahead, you try one. Nice job trying. Ooh, where should we look now? 
Should we look on top of the log or behind the log? Yeah, let's look behind. Is that a grasshopper? Yes or no? No, that's not a grasshopper. Remember, the grasshopper is green. Does anyone know what this is called? They're little and we see them at picnics. Yeah, it's called an ant. That has our nose sound. We go, mmm, and then our tongue up t at the end. Ant. You try. Nice job. All right, where is the ant? Is it under the grasshopper or on the grasshopper? Yeah, it's under. I'm gonna put him on and let's make our big sentence. We say, I found an ant. You try it. Nice job with those sounds. Ooh, where should we look now? I wonder if this is going to be the grasshopper. Should we look in front of the flowers or behind the flowers? Oh, I couldn't trick you. You're right. Let's look behind. Ooh, look. Is this a grasshopper? Yes or no? No, remember the grasshopper is green. This is a yellow and black bug with stripes. Does anyone know what it is? Yeah, it's a bee, or sometimes we call it a bumblebee, which has lots of pop lip sounds. Let's try bumblebee together. Ready? Bumblebee. Nice job trying to put your lips together. Where is that bee? Is it next to the ant or on the ant? It's next to the ant. If it was on, it'd be on top of it. Oh my. I'm gonna put it here. Let's make our big sentence. I found a bee. You try. Nice job. Let's see, do you think we're gonna find the grasshopper now? Hmm, where should we look? Should we look on top of the grass or behind the grass? Yeah, behind the grass. <gasps> Is that a grasshopper? Yes or no? No, that's not a grasshopper. A grasshopper is green. This is a gray tiny bug. You might see it in the kitchen or outside that likes to land on food or the trash. Does anyone know what it's called? Yeah, it's called a fly. You try. Bite your lip, then your tongue goes up. Fly. It's a bit tricky. Does anyone know where the fly is? Is it under the butterfly or above the butterfly? Under or above? Yeah, it's above. All right, let's make our big sentence. Do it with me. I found a fly. Nice job with those sounds. Where should we look again? Hmm, you guys are catching on. We're gonna look behind the leaf. You tell me, behind the leaf. Ooh, ooh, I don't like these. That's not a grasshopper. No. Do you know what this bug is? Ooh, some of you know. Look, let's look at it. It's a black bug and it has eight legs. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that's a lot of legs. It's called a spider. So we start with our snake sound, teeth together. Then we pop our lips and duh in the middle and we end with our er with our lips together. Let's try it together. Spider. Nice job. Where is that spider? Is he above the grasshopper or next to the grasshopper? Above or next to? 
Yeah, next to. Let's try our sentence together. I found a spider. Let's see if we can get that grasshopper now. Where should we look? Mm -hmm. We're gonna look behind the, kind of looks like a stick. This is a log. You try it, tongue goes up. Log. Behind the log. Oh my. This is green like a grasshopper. Do you think it's a grasshopper? Yes or no? Mm, I tricked some of you, but no, it's not a grasshopper. A grasshopper has legs that help it hop or jump. This caterpillar has no legs. All right, let's see. Is the caterpillar on the ladybug or above the ladybug? On or above? It's above. Let's make our big sentence. Let's try caterpillar first though. It has our back sound, then our tongue up, which is really tricky to do, and then our pop lip sound and our tongue goes up again. This one has so many sounds. Let's try it really slow. Caterpillar. One more time. Caterpillar. If that's too tricky, we can try just the vowels, and it would sound like this. Ah, er, eh, er. You try. Ah, er, eh, er. Or we can try just cat for now. You try one. Yeah, and they start trying those sounds. This is a long word. All right, we're gonna make our big sentence together. Ready? I found a caterpillar. Nice job. Let's see. Do you think this is going to be the grasshopper now? Or should we look? Should we look behind the flowers or in front? Yeah, I don't see anything in front. Let's look behind. Is that a grasshopper? No. A grasshopper has legs that helps it hop or jump. This animal, this bug is colorful and has wings that help it fly. Does anyone know what it is? Yeah, it's a butterfly. That's another really long word. Let's try it together. Let's see together. Butterfly. We can try just the vowels to make it easier and try a er I. Again, a uh, er I. Or you can try to make it easier and just try butter for now. All right, where's that butterfly? Is it under the fly or above the fly? Under or above? Yeah, this one's under. All right, let's make our big sentence. Remember for Butterfly, you can try all the sounds or you can make it easier by saying uh or I or butter. Let's put it together. I found a butterfly. Let's see. Is that a grasshopper? Where should we look? Should we look on top or behind? Yeah, behind the grass. Is that the grasshopper? Yes, it is. Ooh, we finally found him. Is the grasshopper next to the spider or on the ant? Yeah, it's next to the spider. Let's try our sounds. Grasshopper. That's really tricky. You can, again, just make the vowels and try ah, ah, er. Ah, ah, er. Or you can just call it a hopper and use our hot sound. Hopper. Let's do a big sentence together. Ready? I found a grasshopper. Nice job trying those sounds. A lot of bugs have really long names that are tricky to say. So thank you for trying. We'll keep working on them. And now we get to put all the bugs in the jar. 
hmm, let's see if I can remember what we found first. It was a red bug with black polka dots. Anyone remember what it's called? Yeah, it's a ladybug. Hmm, now I'm looking for, what did we find next? I think it was a black bug that you see at picnics. It has six legs. Yeah, it's an ant. I'm gonna put it on the bottom of the jar because they walk. Does the ladybug fly too? Yes, I'm gonna put the ladybug up. They fly. Hmm, I think next we found, I don't remember, I think it was a bug that you see at picnics. Not the ant, I already did that one. This one likes to go on food. You might see it on the garbage, trash, or in your house too. They like to land on food. It's a fly. So we're going to put the fly on top because they fly in the air. Next, I think we found a bug that has eight legs and they make a web. Yeah, it's a spider. I'm going to put the spider on the bottom because they crawl or they can go up to their web. Then we found a bug that's yellow and black and has stripes. It says buzz. Yeah, it's a bee. I'm going to put the bee on top. Next we found a bug. I think I might have these out of order, but that's okay. We'll play around. Can you think of the bug that has no legs and it turns into a butterfly? This one's called a caterpillar. I'm going to put him on the bottom. He can't fly yet but he turns into something that flies and has colorful wings. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's a butterfly. I'm gonna put that on top. And our last bug was what Jacob was looking for. It was green and it hops. Do you remember what it's called? Yeah, a grasshopper because it hops in the grass. I'm gonna go on the bottom because he hops. We found all the bugs and put them in the jar. Jacob had so much fun studying all of the bugs. Now he is ready to let them go and see how far the grasshopper can jump. Can you help make the grasshopper jump? You tell him, jump in the grass. Or you can tell him, go, go bug, go. Can I put him in? He's in the grass. Time to let all of the bugs go. Let's name them as we take them out. We have a spider and a caterpillar and our grasshopper. We have a fly. Hmm, how about this one? A bee or a bumblebee. We have a ant. A ladybug and a butterfly. Those are so many bugs. Well, thank you for helping me and Jacob find all the bugs. So you can keep playing this again and again. Remember, doing things over and over again helps us learn. There are so many bugs and their names are tricky, so it's good to practice. So now I'll go watch part three with Mrs. C for the activity. We'll see you soon.